Mobile application management with Workspace ONE lets organizations deploy and control managed apps on end users' devices. Security is ensured through compliance policies. In this tutorial, we'll deploy a public iOS app and an internal Windows app. In the Workspace ONE UEM console, click Resources, Apps, Native, Public, Add Application. The Manage By box displays the name of the organization group. For platform, select Apple iOS. Search the App Store is already selected, so you can just type in the app name, Salesforce, and click Next. In the search results, click Select next to Salesforce. Now all the details are displayed. If we want our app catalog to be organized into categories, we can select which category we want to use for Salesforce. I'll use business. We'll just scroll down to see what details and options are available. And likewise, we'll take a look at the other tabs. We won't use a terms of use agreement for this exercise. The SDK is very powerful, but we won't complicate this exercise by using an SDK profile. If you are interested, take a look at the documentation guide called App Management with Workspace ONE SDK Settings. Click Save and Assign. For assignment name, we'll keep it short and sweet and just call it Staff. For the assignment group, which is a list of smart groups, select All Devices. Make sure Auto is selected for the app delivery method. This means that when the user enrolls the device, the Salesforce app will be automatically downloaded and installed. Click Restrictions and scroll through the Restrictions options. Make sure Managed Access is turned on. And turn on Make App MDM Managed if user installed. Tunnel and other attributes, and eh, we're not going to do anything there for this exercise. Application Configuration. You need to turn on Send Configuration. Then scroll down to the table. Now this is already filled out because I filled it out earlier, but let's go over the settings. Under Configuration Key, enter App Service Hosts. Set Value Type to String. Under Configuration Value, you have to enter the server name portion of the Salesforce URL that your users will connect to. Here's the Salesforce documentation that has the link to the Salesforce Public Mobile App Security Guide PDF. And the settings are explained in this section, Automatic Custom Host Provisioning. It says here for iOS, do not include HTTPS, whereas for Android apps, you do include HTTPS. Back on the assignment page, click Create and the assignment is listed on the page. Click Save. And on this page, we don't see any devices to preview because we have not yet enrolled any devices. We're saving that for another video. Click Publish. And we land on the Assignment tab for the Salesforce app. If we click the Summary tab, we see all these tiles. When we enroll some devices, we'll be able to use these tiles to track the status of the app deployment and the versions of the installed apps on the various devices. Next, we'll create a Windows application. Go to Resources, Apps, Native, Internal, and click Add from Enterprise App Repository. This app repository is external, but you use it to create internal applications. When you use apps from this list, it saves you from having to manually upload the app file and then having to enter a bunch of configuration settings yourself. The repository has all kinds of commonly used apps. See, there's 138 in this list. So many apps will use the search bar to find Notepad++. Enter Notepad and search. Okay, we'll use the 64-bit version. Select it and click Next. We'll add to the name a bit to easily identify it later. We'll select Notify so that we get email and console notifications when a new version becomes available. Click Next. Scroll down and see all these things that just get configured automatically when you use the repository. For example, it puts in the install command, which we would have to enter ourselves of uploading a file manually. And it has the app icon. It's very convenient. Click Save. And it's added to the list. Because there happen to be so many internal apps in my list, I'll use the search list box to find the app so I can assign it. Here's the one we want. So select the radio box next to it and click Assign. We'll also call this assignment Staff. 
Select the smart group called all devices for the assignment group. Auto for app delivery method and click restrictions and turn on make app MDM manage if user installed. Click create and then save it and publish it. And there it is. We've created an internal Windows app in addition to a public iOS app. Now, one thing that you might want to try out, especially if you have apps that you want to install that have dependencies, is Freestyle Orchestrator. For example, if you want to install Outlook and Zoom and have the Zoom plugin installed in Outlook. For more Workspace ONE technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com.